Zoax.net. Lesson 1. A simple HTML page. We will begin with the simple HTML file that produces a blank page. So if we open this file by double-clicking it, it displays nothing. That seems useless, but this document contains the main elements for an HTML page. The first line contains the document type declaration, which explains what kind of document will follow. The actual HTML code follows inside the HTML tags. We should explain a few terms here. The first HTML tag is called the starting or opening tag. The second HTML tag is called the ending or closing tag. Ending tags always start with a slash. The entire code, including the start tag and the end tag, is called the element. So the HTML element contains all of this. Inside, we have a head element and a body element. These consist of just a start and end tag because we have not put anything in them yet. Thus, the entire document consists of three elements, the HTML element, the head element, and the body element. These are the main elements of any HTML document. The HTML element contains the entire document. The head element usually contains document-related information that is not displayed on the page, and the body element contains the content that is displayed. For example, we might put a title element inside the head and some text inside the body element, like this. Now if we open this file, we see the text and the body displayed. However, the title is only displayed on the browser tab, rather than inside the document. The title is a special element, and it is displayed in the tab because that is how browsers display it. Notice that the text inside the body is not contained in any element. One peculiar aspect of HTML text is that the white space characters are generally ignored and reduced to a single space. Consider this document with two lines of text and all kinds of white space inside it. The first line is indented. The second line follows a new line character and contains several spaces between each word. Yet, when we open the document, each of these sequences of white space characters is reduced to a single space, even the end line. Finally, we remark that text can be put inside the head element and will also be displayed. For example, this document with this additional line in the head renders like this. However, even though we can, we should not do this, and we should only put displayed content inside the body element. Going back to a previous example, we see that the head and body elements are contained inside the HTML element. The title element is likewise contained inside the head element. In this case, we say that the head and body elements are children of the HTML element, and the title element is a child of the head. Alternatively, we say that the HTML element is a parent of the body and head, and the head is a parent of the title element. Recall from Lesson 0 that you can save any of these examples as a text file with the HTML extension. Then you can open them by double-clicking the file to display it in your default browser. This code Along with many other examples, is available on our website at soax.net.